Hi, my name, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a moment and talk to you about a nested if-then statement. So if we look up here, I've created this um, formula that will assign a letter grade depending on the number of points the student has. So what it basically does, and I'll start up here, is it takes a look at first at B2, so if B2 is greater than 89, so it's looking at B2, the value here. If it's greater than 89, then it's going to assign it an A. In this case, it's not, so it's going to continue on to the else part of it. And here we do another if then. And we say if B2 is greater than 79, then assign it a B. Again, it's not true because it's equal to 79, but it's not greater than 79. So it's going to continue on to the else part of the uh, equation, in which case uh, we're going to do another if then. So we do if B2 is greater than 69, then assign it a C. And at that point it assigns the letter C and kicks it out. Um, and you get the idea if it was a, a rocky over here, um, it would continue on because um, it's less than 69, so it would continue on to this and we would do another one where it says if B4 is greater than 59, then assign it a D and then kick out. And then all the way down to Dopey here, um, who's only got a 35, where it um, assigned him an F because that's anybody that's got 59 or less is going to get an F. Um, and then notice the extra parentheses here. You do have to close the parentheses for each one of these. Um, uh, each one of these that we um, open the parentheses on. So there's four closed parentheses at the end here. And uh, that's it.